Hi everyone, this is Kieran from Filmstorm Studios and I've got another exciting tutorial for us today. Today we're actually going to look at um, how to set up UI cameras um, to go alongside your main camera. So um, what I've quickly done up here, I've just made a simple FSM, just with a simple mouse look. Um, and so I can just move around like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up a little box that has a UI component on it. And what you might normally see is that the UI component actually um, goes into the box. And most, if you have one camera, you can't actually um, do much about it when it's in mold space. But what we're going to do is create another camera and link it right under this one and make that all um, set up into the UI. So let's just uh, create a new camera first. And we're just going to call this the UI cam. And pretty simple, you just chuck that under the, the main camera and you just want to make sure it's completely zeroed out so it's facing exactly the same way as what this camera is. Um, another thing you want to make sure is that the field of view, if you've changed it from, uh, on your main camera, to also change it on this one because uh, it will look a little bit weird otherwise. Um, next thing, we want to come up and we want to change the layer to UI so it's on its own layer. We want to change clear flags to depth only. And we also want to um, change the culling mask to nothing and then just click UI. So that way it's only going to be seeing the UI. Alrighty, so now we just need to change one thing on our main camera and that is the culling mask. We just need to turn off UI so that way it's not going to render any of the UI settings. Alrighty, now that should be it for um, from this guy. So let's now let create a cube and that way we'll um, put a UI object on it just so we can uh, visualize what it's gonna look like. So let's just chuck one over here and let's just uh, throw a material on it. Let's just turn down the scaling just so we can kind of see it in, in um, 3D space. Yeah, that'll do just so we can have some sort of um, thing to look at. So yeah, so we're going to put like a UI component just right here. So let's right mouse click and create a new canvas. And we're going to call this the box UI. And since we're going to be putting it into our scene, we're going to change it to world space. Now overlay completely, um, it gets the screen width and height and it actually puts the canvas, um, fits it into there so that way it doesn't move at all. It's just like a 2D object in front of your camera. Um, screen space camera is a little bit different. It, it just takes the um, the camera, the render camera that you want it to render. And then world space um, is what we're going to be doing now. So let's scale out. You'll see we have this massive object. I'd just like to make it 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And then let's just zero it out so that way we can see it. And then let's just continue to uh, bring it in. All right, so let's just make it a bit smaller and bring it over here. So let's just focus on it. And we'll just uh, create a simple text element just to, and we're going to say test UI camera. And I think it's going to be really small. Yep, and let's make it white. And a little trick you notice with um, text is it normally comes out blurry. And if you upscale it, it disappears. So you want to come and overflow, overflow really scale it up so you get a nice sharp text and then uh, rescale it uh, back down again and then that will give you nice crisp text so let's just scale it I might actually make it uh, blue so that way it just really stands out against that white section alrighty so now just make sure that this layer is on UI it should automatically go to it because it, it's uh, clever like that and if we hit play you should see it. So now, um, basically this is actually rendering through our UI camera. So if I hit pause, uh, you can go control shift P and that will actually pause your scene. That's a little shortcut. And if I turn off this guy, you'll notice that this, the UI has actually disappeared from the game. So that actually means that the UI cam is rendering it. So if I pause it again, turn it on, you'll see that the UI cam is doing all the, the UI work. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty simple. And the reason why you want to do this is uh, if I come out of here, let me just split the game view. I'll put a aspect ratio on. And let me jump into game. All right, so let me come and focus on here. 
So if we, oh, let me just, I don't need to pause it. If we grab the canvas and turn it into the object, see how it's actually um, like penetrating the, the object? You don't actually see that. And that's what's really um, handy about using the UI camera is that it doesn't um, intersect with any objects. Um, but you can if you if you change a couple of the um, the color masks if you want to include an object that will cut through the UI. But um, if we change the UI to default, uh, yes, you'll notice that it now penetrates because now it's being rendered by our main camera, which is it takes all of the objects and um, composited it in depth. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you um, that's one really good thing about um, setting this up as a UI so that way you can have as much stuff going on in the scene that way you can see um, if you have like an interactive door button and you go like look at the side of the door it still pops up so players don't get confused and wonder what's going on so yeah I mean that's um that's a really simple solution to setting up the UI camera hope you enjoyed this nice short tutorial and I'll catch you guys next time